good morning students today we are going to see about how to compute 8 point eft for a given sequence x of n is equal to 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 and the last sample is 0 using the dat ft algorithm okay so before going to start the problem you must know what is why we go for fast fourier transform here uh, to compute the to compute the uh, DFT for a given sequence, the total number of uh, multiplication needed using the DFT is n into n. Here, so in our problem, the total number of sample is 8, so 64 uh, multiplications. And uh, for uh, addition, number of addition required to compute this uh, 8 point DFT is n into n minus 1 using DFT. That is, uh, 8 into 7, 56. So, we need uh, 64 multiplication and uh, 56 addition to compute this 8 point sequence by using the F of T algorithm. Okay, the number of multiplication and number of uh, addition has been reduced by n by 2. That is for multiplication, n by 2 into log n base 2. That is the number of sample is 8, 8 by 2 into log 2. I am going to write uh, 8 as 2 power 3. So you know that log n base n is equal to 1. <coughs> that is 4 into 3 is equal to 12. And similarly for addition n into log n base 2 that is 8 into log 2 power 3 2 that is 8 into 3 so 24 so by using the f of t algorithm by using the f of t algorithm the number of multiplication required is 12 the number of addition required is 24 to compute this 8 point sequence using the f of t algorithm okay so that's why we go for an f of t algorithm so how to compute this 8 point sequence using the dat f of t that is, we have step 1 is that is writing the input sequence in the big reversal order. So, you know the total number of samples is 0 to 7, that is the indices values. So, 0, the binary value is 0, 0, and then 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 0, 3, 0, 1, 1, 4, 1, double, 0, 5, 1, 0, 1, 6, 110711. You just reverse the binary sequence 100010110111011 and then 111. The corresponding indexes values 0, 4, 2, 6, 1, 5, 3, so your uh, bit sequence indices are 0, 4, 2, 6, 1, 5, 3, 7. That is even lines, that is the even sequence and the odd sequence. The eight se that is the eight sequence has been uh, splitted into even lines as well as the odd lines. So this is the step one. So you have to arrange the samples according to the indices based on the even and the odd. In step two, step two is that is Stage 1, that is, a, that is a drawing the butterfly in the stage 1, that is in stage 1, that is the Turin factor value is, that is a 2 point DFT, W02, the value is 1. In stage 2, that is 4 point DFT, the Turin factor to be used is W04, the value is 1, W14, the value is minus I. In stage 3, in stage 3, the total factor value W08. In stage 3, the total factor value W08, the value is 1. W18, the value is 0 0.717 minus I, 0 0.717. W28, it is minus I. W38, the value is 0 0.717 minus i 0 0.707 so these are the parameters you must know to compute this uh, 
d of t by using the dat f of t algorithm. Okay. So let me first draw the eight lines and then uh, based on the indices there is a bit reversal order that is the even sequence that is the even samples 0, 4, 2, 6, 1, 5, 3 and then 7. So according to the indices you have to place the samples x of 0, 1, x of 4, 1, x of 2, 1, x of 6, 1, 1, for 5 it is 1, 3 it is 1, for 7 it is 1. So to compute the stage 1, the trivial factor value for uh, stage 1, it is 1. Okay, 1 into that uh, any input sequence, it gives the same value. Let's draw the butterfly between the two lines. The upper end is an addition, the lower end is an subtraction. 1 plus 1, 2, 1 minus 1, 0. So like this, we have to draw the four butterflies, the addition and the subtraction, 2 and 0. 2 and 0. That is the subtraction, this 1. And for this, addition, subtraction, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 minus 0, 1. So these are the uh, outputs of this stage 1. So in stage 2, so if for stage 2, the Trivial factor values W04 and W14 and then W04 and W14. So in stage 2, 2 butterflies, the value for W04 value is 1, W14 value is minus 8 and then 1 minus 8. So you have to place the trivial factor in the lower end of the butterflies. So in stage 2, to just multiply it, 2 into 1, 2. 1 into, yeah, sorry, 0 into minus i, 0. 1 into 1, 1. 1 into minus i, minus i. And then remaining things you have to write as it is. 2, 1, 0. So these are the outputs of the stage 1 and it is the input to the stage 2. So in stage 2, we have to take the alternate lines to draw the butterfly. That is, one butterfly in the even line and the another butterfly in the odd line. That is a 2, uh, two plus 2, 4, 2 minus 2, 0. So one butterfly in the even line. 0 plus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0. And similarly for all lines, 2 plus 1, 3, 2 minus 1, 1. For this, 0 minus i minus i, 0 minus of minus i plus i. So these are the outputs of the stage 2. To, to go for the stage 3, that is, we have to write the total factor value for the stage 3. That is the 8 point DFT W08. W08 value is 1 and the W28. W28 value is 0 0.717 minus i. 0.77. W38 value is minus i and then W48 value is minus 0 0.717 minus i 0 0.717. So you just multiply the D to the factor values. So uh, you just uh, write down the the total factor value for the stage 3. Okay, you just multiply with 3 into 1, 3 minus i into this, that is uh, i into i, i square, already it is minus plus, and then minus 0 0.707 minus i 0 0.707. And then 1 into minus i, minus i. And then i into this, i square, minus minus plus, 0 0.707 and then minus i 0 0.707 okay. so the remaining thing you have to write as it is next in stage 3 that is you have to draw the uh, that is a single butterfly that is the one line from the 
one line from the E1 line, the another line from the R line. One line from the E1, the another line from the R line. So in stage 3, so we have to take uh, one line, uh, first line from the E1 and the next line from the R, 4 and the 3, 4 plus 3, 7, 4 minus 3, 1, and one line from the E1 and another line from the R, 0 and plus minus 0 0.707 minus I 0 0.707 and then subtract it, you will be getting the positive value 0 0.707 plus I 0 0.707. Next one 0 plus 0 0.707 minus 0 0.707 plus I and then minus or minus 1 minus I and the last. Zero this one minus zero point seven or seven plus i zero point seven or seven and then negative value minus add uh, zero and this one zero plus this one will be negative and then uh, subtract it that is minus 0 0.707 plus i 0 0.707 ok so uh, this is the output sequence is in the the normal order x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, x of 4, x of 5, x of 6 and x of 7 so how to check it, how to check whether our answer is uh, how, to check, how to check the final answer so you have to write it as an x of k is equal to 7 minus 0 0.707 minus i 0 0.707 and then i 0 0.707 and then i 0 0.707 minus i and then minus 0 0.707 plus i 0 0.707 so totally we are having the 8 samples so the first sample 7 the output be the, the addition of the all the samples will be the first sample of the output sequence when you add this 7 and then 1 and 7 is the conjugate see the minus 0 0.707 minus i is the conjugate here so conjugate value and then 2 and 6 is conjugate i minus i and then 3 and 5 is a conjugate. So from this we can analyze that our output is like um, wrong. The first sequence is the addition of the all the samples. The remaining thing will be the conjugate to the each other. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening. We will see in the we will see how to take the IDFT in the next video. The answer finally. And one more thing, how to compute this uh, how can uh, how we verify the answer by using the calculator okay very simple you just uh, keep your uh, calculator in uh, a degree mode so very simple uh, for the input sequence one and one that is you just open the brace one a uh, shift angle minus zero degree and then a okay so for different a value i am going to find the that is the uh, sequence values i am going to find the uh, the position of the each samples plus 1 a shift angle that is a 45 degree so that is uh, the, the the entire 360 degree has been uh, splitted in as an 45 45 okay and then plus 1 shift angle minus 90 degree alpha a plus 1 shift angle minus <coughs> 135 alpha a and then plus 1 shift angle minus 180 alpha a and then plus 
one shift and shift angle minus two twenty five alpha a plus one shift angle minus <coughs> two seventy alpha a plus the last sample is uh, zero so you have to put zero and then minus three one five alpha a okay you just uh, press the calculator you just press the calculate so calculate so i'm going to find the first sequence so i'm going to find the first sequence that is zero the answer is seven okay the answer is seven so our answer is right next i am going to find the second sequence so one that is minus seven or seven okay correct and then you have the imaginary term also to find the imaginary term shift equal to so the same minus i seven or seven one zero six okay the my second sequence is right and then third sequence to find the third sequence that is a zero one next one is a two you have to put two the answer is minus i then third also right and then calculate fourth sequence so sorry third sequence three zero point seven or seven positive value and then uh, negative value okay we got the same answer and then uh, calculate the fourth sample that is the value is one okay we got it and then calculate uh, fifth sequence that is a positive value yes we got it and then positive imaginary term also the same positive imaginary term that term also right calculate sixth sequence i okay correct and then the last sequence minus 707 plus i 707 so this is a easy